A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim By the blessings of our Shaykh Sidi Shaykh Muhammad Fauzi Al-Karikari Qaddasallahu Sirra This short video is going to be about the Istikhara prayer and my experience using it to find the answers to my most pressing questions. So the Istikhara prayer is one of the many prayers in Islam that the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, advised for Muslims to use at moments of sincere need and desperation. Besides the Salatul Istikhara, which in English translates to the prayer for seeking counsel or advice directly from God, there's also the prayer for seeking rain and the prayer for when there is a solar eclipse, uh, among many others. Today's video will be about istikhara. So the format and the process is pretty simple. What a Muslim has, let's say they're faced with some kind of decision or a dilemma, a conflict, something where they feel that they need a direct answer from God. Maybe many of us face many uh, difficult issues in our life from choosing the right job from moving uh, choosing the right school the right wife or the right husband and many times even though we ask our friends and family for advice and support the most sure step would be getting a direct and clear sign from Allah Azza wa Jal so the Salat Istikhara is very simple one has the sincere question within one's heart as the niyyah or intention and they pray a set of turaqat so one prayer unit uh, one salam assalamu alaikum and within this prayer they pray it normally surah fatiha uh, a surah after that everything normal but with the intention of asking allah for a decision between two things or a, a, a path towards uh, an answer for whatever question one may have. So usually there are many ways that one receives an answer. It can be, but it's not limited to, a, a dream, a waking vision, a mushahada, a sign that from in, in one's uh, daily life, or it can even be as simple and as subtle, because Allah is Al-Latif, as subtle as being inclined towards one option more than the other. So that's the Salat Istikhara, very simple, two rakat. Uh, the Sunnah way is to pray it for seven days straight until one receives an answer. Um, and usually people try to do this during times when um, it is more likely that uh, during times that Allah SWT has set as times that du'as and prayers are accepted. For example, in the last third of the night, about one hour before Fajr, um, in between Asr and Maghrib, or right before one goes to sleep, so that uh, there's no distractions and um, one can immediately, maybe if they get an answer in their dream, be able to uh, interpret it and uh, apply it. So these are the many ways that one might get a response. I personally have used istikhara three times in my life and each time I've received an answer and that's why I feel comfortable enough to advise it as something that any sincere Muslim uses when faced with a decision. The first time I used Salat istikhara I was in college in my senior year and applying to a very prestigious scholarship award uh, called the Fulbright program and I wanted to know if because it was very demanding and senior year was also a very um, pressured environment and stressful time for me. So I wanted to know if it was worth the effort to do this and you know me being the weak person I am I wanted a clear answer. Am I gonna get the scholarship or not? So I prayed the istikhara and I received an answer. I, I, I had a, a strong feeling that it was gonna happen and I would get it. And lo and behold, alhamdulillah, I received the scholarship and I went to Taiwan and I taught English for a year. Great time, made a lot of money and learned Chinese. The second time I used the istikhara was when I was trying to make a decision for my master's program. I applied to two schools, 
uh, Harvard and University of Chicago, and I wanted to know which one would be best for me. It was a very difficult process, and alhamdulillah, I was accepted to both, and uh, I received generous scholarship, but it was, I didn't know where to go. Uh, each one had its benefits and its disadvantages, and I was, I was stuck. Every, anytime I, asked, would, I would ask someone, they would you know, be biased, and I really didn't know. I wanted Allah to guide me. So I went to the istikhara. I put in my heart the sincere n need to know where, which would be the best for me, because this is two years of my life um, and a big move away from my family and you know the next journey of my life. So I prayed istikhara, and I had a dream where I was going to Harvard and I was lost, and I, w I went to the wrong class, and the professor got mad at me. So I understood that. That was not the right decision. And Alhamdulillah, when I chose you, Chicago, they also gave me a little bit more money, paid for my health insurance. Khair. So I was confident that when I needed help, when I needed guidance, Allah would guide me. And I didn't need to ask anyone else. As long as I was sincere and desperate only to Allah, or helpless only to Allah, no one else, and would accept the answer that I received from him, the sign that I received from him, I knew it would be successful. The third and last time that I've used istikhara was when I came to this tariqa. Before I came to the tariqa, I had many doubts, as I'm sure you do too. Is this right? Who is, the, who is this wali? Is he even a wali? Is he a friend of God? Is he the mujaddid, as many people claim? Are all these people really seeing nur and getting close to Allah? Is this all true or what's going on? Is this the right path for me even? So the third time that I prayed istikhara, I had this question in my heart that, Oh Allah, if this is the wali, if this is the right path, then I will be 100% for it because this is the path that leads me to you, that leads me closer to you and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So I prayed istikhara and in the istikhara, in the two rakat that I was praying, I saw at the point where one goes down into sajda, in full prostration, prostration, I saw a ball of nur, and all on my prayer carpet and in my bedroom where I pray, waves of light emanating from this center. And at that moment, I was, I came to tears because this is the most direct and spiritual experience that I've ever had up until that point. Now I've had many more. So I knew that this was the right path. This was the truth. And Allah was telling me that if you want to know me, if you want to get close to me, if you want to be a true Muslim, if you want to realize and taste what it means to be someone who loves the Prophet, who claims to love the family of the Prophet, someone who claims to be someone who has truly submitted to the will of Allah, then this path, Tariqa Karkariya and Sidi Shaykh Muhammad Fauzi al karkariqa the Salaw Sirra, is the one and only way. Alhamdulillah, since my istikhara, I have joined the Tariqa and my time has been nothing short of bliss. I have an inner peace, an inner tranquility, a sense of purpose, a sense of direction, a sense of comfort knowing that I'm on the right path and every single day I not only feel closer to Allah and the Sunnah and the Prophet but I visually see the Nur of Allah, yani the, the presence of Allah in my life growing and my adherence to the Sharia growing, my adherence to the Khuluq, the character of the Prophet in his Sunnah and the al Bayt growing and developing every single day. So, Alhamdulillah, this was my short introduction to the istikhara prayer. Inshallah, the Tariqa Karkariya does not force anyone to join. Sidi Shaykh does not want the disciples or anyone to argue with anyone about whether or not this is the right path. For you, it is enough that you ask Allah directly and get your answer from Him directly. I think all Muslims everywhere around the world have had enough of arguments and different groups all claiming to be true. If Allah, one of Allah's attributes is Al-Hadi, the, the, the one who guides. So He will guide you. If you pray two rakat, 
with a sincere intention and ask what is the path for me if Sidi Sheikh is the one who will take you to Allah then you will get your answer and inshallah we will meet. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.